That's class. Leading edge, there he is, gets the wicket. And the Scorchers have romp time. Absolute peach. Well, in six attempts in the WBBL, the Perth Scorchers have made the finals all bar one year. But they too have been hit by the England tour to Pakistan. So no Amy Jones, who is in career best form at the moment, and no Sarah Glenn, who's just burst onto the international scene with her leg spin. So the question is, can Shelley Nitschke weave some coaching magic to find that elusive title for the Scorchers? Well, they got an Alana King coming over the Scorchers. Marazan Cap comes into the side, and when she plays with the ball and handy with the bat as well, that's fantastic. They've also got Chamari Atapatu. Now, for Australian fans, when they watch the Sri Lankan playing against Australia, everyone gets nervous because she just goes boom, boom, boom and hits runs for fun. She hasn't quite found that form, though, at domestic level. So if she can find that for the Scorchers, look out. Oh, that, is that is a spectacular hundred. Yes! Oh, what a delivery, Tanil Peschel. Yeah, well, we had our eye on her last year because she was brilliant with the ball in Tanil Peschel. The big challenge for her now is that most teams in their team meetings will be talking about her a lot. So if she can work through that, I think she's a player to watch for the Perth Scorchers. Yeah, bye-bye. Divine and Mooney two of the best T20 batters in world cricket. So that's a given, isn't it? So if they get off to a great start with those two, the Scorchers need to find players that can keep that momentum going, or if by chance, miracle, those two don't fire, people have to step up in the power play as well. So that'll be the focus for Shelley Nitschke and the Perth Scorchers this year. Through the defences. And the Perth Scorchers have kept on their winning ways. 